<laughs> You're looking good, my friend. Looking good. How you feeling? Where are you, dude? Thanks. Is that a Chiefs jersey? Dude, fuck yeah, it is. Go yeah. Chiefs. Hell yeah. Tony G, man. Oh, yeah. Been a fan for years. I know you are. Be, being from Kansas City, man, th there isn't anybody in Kansas City that's not a Chiefs fan. <laughs> Chiefs rock. It's pretty great. How great was that Super Bowl, my friend? <laughs> the last one, uh, you know, it was kind of freaky, but the first, yeah, the first one was totally amazing. Um, yeah. Like, you know, th hey, they got there twice, you know what I'm saying? Like, in yep. two years, so. Yep. And it might be, could be three in a row, man. Let's let's keep There's it going. Be, I think a lot of them. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me introduce you, man. Uh, I got Wes Scantlin here from Puddle of Mud. Uh, Puddle of Mud sold more than 7 million records now, has had five number one hits, 11 top 10 singles. It's just freaking crazy. Uh, four Billboard Music Awards, ASCAP Awards, magazines of all kinds. All kinds of accolades. Set to release a video. We're going to talk about that uh, for the new single, Just Tell Me. And it's from their latest album, Welcome to Galvania, man. And uh, Wes, thanks for taking the time, bud. No problem, man. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I saw an announcement for the video. Uh, it was due to come out yesterday. Uh, what's going on with the video for Just Tell Me? Uh, there was just a couple of different complications. It was technical and, um, okay. you know, the, uh, the engineers and stuff, they're working it out right now. It's, it's totally cool. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's cool. You know, yeah. just had to do a little revamp, I guess you could say. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll see it eventually. Right. Of course. All right. Very cool. And that's the new single. Just tell me, of course, welcome to Galvania. You got to tell me about the title, man. Uh, welcome to Galvania. You're using big words there, man. <laughs> how'd, how'd the uh, title for the album come about? Well, my dad is a big word dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he, um, he'll he like listen to songs that, you know, I, I write and collaborate with other people and write with. Um, and, you know, he gets little goosebumps on his, you know, like the hair stands up in the back of your neck and goosebumps and it's, um, you know, scientifically basically called the, the galvanic skin response. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's a, kind of an electricity type thing in the human body, which is, you know, which is really cool. Um, but it's, you know, it, it comes with like, you know, like uh, you're listening to like a really cool song that's resonating in your, in your soul and your mind and your body. And, you know, you get a little goosebumps and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so my dad turned me on to the, uh, the you know, galvanic word. And uh, I was like, okay, I didn't want to be really caught. <laughs> yeah, still there? Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I lost you a little bit there. Oh. Yeah, uh, but you didn't want to be, you said you didn't want to be too, and then I lost you. Cocky, oh, I didn't, oh. yeah. I wasn't trying to be like too cocky, you know, right. Just to maybe I think like, Oh, I'm so awesome that, you know, people are going to hear this and they're going to get goosebumps. They're going to have this galvanic, you know, you know, episode in their life, you know, and you know, it just, Oh yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's part of yeah, it in a nutshell, man. <laughs> I guess go big and, you know, you know, I guess, you know, have Hell confidence. Yeah. Confidence Hell is yeah. key. No doubt. Now, you know, this album will do it, man, as will all the Puddle of Mud albums. Uh, you, that's the one thing, Puddle of Mud, so consistent in the sound. Uh, it's just crazy. All the albums are done with that intensity, and you stick to what you do best. You know, I, when I get a Puddle of Mud album there, I, I know it, what it's going to be. There's, you know, you're not cutting a country album anytime soon. Uh, um, what's the biggest difference for you, though, from like come clean to welcome to Galvania. Well, it's been one heck of a ride. Um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the wave that I was put on, um, I totally appreciate and, you know, it's a blessing from God and a bunch of other great people that I've been able to work with in my life. Um, the, you know, the difference, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's like stick to your guns and, you know, go with the flow and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, 
if something that you uh that you know you that you you know did before worked you know Mm -hmm. get on it and do it again you know and give them you know give them some some you know like ambiance you know ambiance and just wonderful like uh melodies and you know touching lyrics and stuff it's just you know it's like i'm always trying to get under people's skin and reach them and connect with them you know yeah yeah and it's all there again uh no doubt um now welcome to galvania came about about six months before the pandemic hit um you're going to give this the, the the attention it deserves which is great to see uh you know it wasn't lost over that time um have you been writing over the past year and uh will you be back in the studio yeah i've been basically doing nothing but writing um and you know it's, the pandemic is just a disaster you know in itself but it was kind of a nice little break i mean it really i mean you know personally for me i i, I was i was just like i was in i, I you know it, it sucked but I was like, I really kind of actually, and I think other artists needed a little bit of a break, even just to, to you know, to get back to the drawing board and, and uh, you know, get back to being an artist and creating, you know, and, yeah. and that's in all fashions of any artisticness. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of artists and stuff, um, you know, totally appreciate it like I do, even though it's, you know, it totally was a bummer, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, you got Cameron Webb to produce this one. Um, John Kurzweig was, uh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Kurzweig was a go to for you for, you know, the first, well, three out of the four. Um, how did you come to choose Cameron Webb? And, uh, you know, obviously your relationship is, is good with John. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, Cameron's awesome. He did a great job. Um, everybody, you know, Dave Moreno and Matt Fuller and Michael Adams and the entire crew and, you know, the entire team that, you know, that did the Welcome to Galvania record, uh, you know, solid. And um, I couldn't ask for a better team. Um, but John Kurtzwick, you know, he is a, he is a genius. And um, I probably will actually... Um, basically do the next Pummel Mud record with John Kersley, if okay. if he will accept my offer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sure he will, man. Uh, he's, he's been through, through uh, with you through thick and thin and, and it's, it's great to, uh, it's great to see his name attached to things. And, and Cameron Webb, of course, uh, brilliant, brilliant guy. Uh, of course with Motorhead most popular, but so many others. Yeah, man. Um, That's crazy. It is. It's nuts, man. <laughs> I was like, I, I talked to somebody else recently who who has a record produced by Cameron Webb, and it's just the guy is he's done so much. Is really a great dude. Um, I'm one of those fans that loves to have every last thing. You know, there's so many. Um, you guys have done bonus tracks on a few albums, like Target exclusives, Best Buy exclusives, stuff like that. Even um, Puddle of Mud website okay. exclusives. Have you ever thought about like compiling compiling all those uh, onto a release, perhaps like a box set? You know what? Yeah, that, that's a wonderful idea. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I will tell my uh, my management team. Uh, and we'll get on that, and um, yeah, we'll just do a whole box thing. You know, yeah, that, I mean, why not? Yeah, you know, it's it's tough to find all of those. You know, when it's a Best Buy exclusive, you have to go there. You know, it's a Target exclusive, you have to go. It's it's sometimes you miss one, and then you can't get it. You know, it's nowhere else. Uh, so. And I'm one of those guys, man. I got to have it all. I want every note, man. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard, man, because, you know, um, the whole industry is just, you know, it's just changed like, dramatically. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's wild. But yeah, um, I guess, you know, I guess we got an Amazon, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go, man. No doubt. Uh, what inspires you to write? Uh, you know, for some guys, it's it's a fantasy world. Other guys, you know, it's it's life experience. Um, what what when you're writing, you know, what really gets you going? What really gets that pen moving, so to speak? 
it's you know it's it's i mean it's funky to say this but it's like it's drama you know and it's drama and life it's emotions you know it's it's love you know fear hate yearning you know happiness happiness mm -hmm. um it's just a lot just a it's a plethora of different emotions and um you know every time i sit down and just you know you know basically sit down on a couch over here with the freaking acoustic guitar um you know i don't know where the journey is going but i just try to you know follow along and you know i i i, I you know i say a prayer and <laughs> i'm like please god you know thank you for everything and you know i just you know give me some awesomeness and thank you for the awesomeness and um that you know i just i keep god in my life and uh he definitely is uh he's definitely awesome you know so yeah, yeah, he, he guides me on the right path you know yeah uh that's that's way cool and, and you say that and i noticed on your facebook page you know you've got a lot of inspirational messages and stuff now and and you know it, it looks you know yeah yeah man i i i feel it for sure uh, it's, you know, and, you know, the elephant in the room, of course, you know, you've speaking of drama, you've had your dramatic struggles over the years. There's no doubt about that. Where That's no right. secret that's out there. Um, but you know, when I see God is coming down and he's going to save your life on your Facebook page, man. Um, you know, I'm not going to get to interview, um, Lane Staley, you know, or Chris Cornell or Kurt Cobain, you know, it's great to have you in front of me, man um you know not everybody makes it through those struggles and uh it's great to have you here my friend thank you uh, very very much yeah man um how has your life changed over the last few years um you know you, you you're in sobriety since 2018 and you know things are looking great for you on a health level how about writing you know um has your life, your life has changed so much uh, from those earlier days and you write from life experience. So your writing's got to have changed quite a bit over this, you know, like you're saying, all you did was write this past year. So it, they got to be pretty different songs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it was, it was very, very struggling and challenging to uh, have to deal with um you know, you know, just cruddy episodes and weirdness. You know, I had a lot of thievery and a lot of like weird thieves around me and people that were not good for me and stuff. They're all gone, you know. And good. if anybody else out there has that problem, you know, change your playgrounds, your playmates, keep God first and, you know, um, you know, say your prayers and stuff when you get up and when you go to bed and, and, uh, you know, it's the, the, the writing, it, it was very, very difficult. I mean, I must say to get back into the groove, um, cause you know, being incarcerated is, uh, is just, you know, it's really, it's really mind, it, it's mentally, you know, mentally struggling. And, uh, fortunately I've kind of came out of that shell and now the writing is, uh, is, is definitely getting back and I'm feeling it again. And, you know, I'm just super thankful for it because, you know, it, it was very, very, uh, very, you know, depressing to, you know, kind of lose that, you know, that, that songbird, you know, that lands on your shoulder and, uh, you know, even vocally and stuff, you know, um, it just really just kind of like kind of messes you up. And uh, I'm basically at this point back to normal, thank God. And, yeah. uh, you know, and the, the, the songs are cool. I kind of like to keep a little sexy time and, you know, yeah. some of the new stuff, you know, and uh, <laughs> trying to like, trying to follow a little bit of the Trent Reznor type vibe. Cool. Uh, just like, you know, a couple of different things I've been working on. And uh, it's, you know, it's always nice to have a little bit of like, 
little sexy time and some music, you know. Hell yeah, man. Hell Gets yeah. the juices flowing, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, man, I can't wait to, you know, every that's just it. You know, every puddle of mud um comes out, you know, I, I know it's gonna be great, man. I, you know, it's gonna be consistent. You know, it's like an ACDC album. I know what I'm getting, man. Uh it's, it's I, I appreciate that. Uh is there a song you've written that means more to you that sits, you know, right here close to your heart? Um, that I've written uh recently. Or or in the past. Yeah. Is there one uh, that you know um, you know when the when the building's burning down, you run in and grab that one recording? You know, I like to listen to um, you know, I, I, I like the uh miracle song Miracle mm -hmm. and uh Shook Up the World that I you know I wrote for the Olympics and uh yeah. Muhammad Ali and that you know there's a there's a lot of stuff that really like moves you know moves me um blurry is you know amazing all the time yep. um they're all really cool um the newest one that i that i uh that i have been rocking with is uh is a song called uh <laughs> uh it's a song called sex machine so all right james yeah. brown that's what yeah. that reminds me of right away man <laughs> All right, that's cool. We're keeping that sexy vibe, man. It sells. <laughs> Way cool, no doubt. Um, what has been the most important or pivotal moment in your career? Is there one single thing that you can say just changed everything for you? Yeah, the, uh, the one thing that changed everything was... Um, going to a, a family values concert with a demo tape that a, a, a really great fan friend of mine, uh, Lisha Nunez, she made these two tapes for me and my mom because I had no more uh, CD discs to give out because I was broke and I didn't have shit. Right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I really have to give my, you know, my love and everything to, uh, to, uh, you know, Fred Durst from Lip Biscuit. I mean, totally, you know, I mean, you know, they went to a pawn shop, you know, and bought a, like a boom box to actually put the cassette in, you know, I, I really owe a lot, a lot to, to Fred Durst. And uh, I really do owe a lot to, uh, you know, Jordan Schur and uh, Danny Wimmer and uh, definitely Jimmy I. Bean and, uh, you know, just there's a plethora of people that just was were so magical and they still are and i i seriously love all of them you know danny wimmer was by my side the whole time and uh he was he was a r for uh for uh flawless records mm -hmm. and you know helping out with the, you know the geff and the interscope and stuff side so yeah, yeah danny wimmer man he went to the <laughs> Fred and Danny, like, you know, and Jordan, just freaking, you know, just <laughs> were like, hey, we got you. Come Man. on, let's do this, you know. How cool so, is that? Those are I'll, like, I'll, just sign, I'll just sign there, you know, I don't need no money. I'll just sign. I just want to write songs <laughs> and, you know, see how far this wave can go. So those guys are just freaking you know, totally amazing. Man, that is so cool. Those are industry giants right there. And to have them in your corner is pretty special, man. Um, you know, I got, I know you got a full day. Um, got a couple more for you. What's tops on your bucket list, man? Uh, you know, is there something that you've always wanted to do and uh, you haven't done it yet? You've done so much, uh, you know, with career and life. Um, is there something that you always wanted to do? You know, I'm pretty pretty happy with being a songwriter and a musician. Um, I've thought about different, like kind of like you know, avenues. Um, I I really am seriously, you know, I'm serious about like doing like a like a whole movie, you know, about mm -hmm. you know the the whole way that all this stuff happened, you know, and it like you know with corn and then Limp Biscuit, you know, and then yeah. Limp Biscuit with Puddle of Mud and Stained as well. Mm -hmm. you know and just collaborating with uh fred because he's a great director i mean he's amazing he's, yep. he's very 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 artistic and just amazing really head you know he, he's yep. you know he's a pretty smart dude he's a very smart bear as yeah. they say as he said 
no doubt no doubt um so just do a whole movie about the whole thing yeah but you know four or five different bands that you know yeah have you been yeah. a book for a book oh or- yeah and you know i got to mention bill mcgathy too i mean bill mcgathy is just like the, the man i love him and, yeah. and uh he's just like he's just he's just he's one of a kind man that's cool that's cool uh yeah has anybody approached you for like a book or anything like that yeah uh, you know the only problem with <laughs> the only problem with that man is that you know you gotta really seriously like basically just throw yourself under the bus <laughs> right, right the whole time like, you know, like, <laughs> that's come brutal. out of like you know come out of pocket you know with yeah. a lot of crazy crazy <laughs> stuff and like weird things that you did that you're ashamed of and stuff like that and I guess you just gotta suck it up and you know <laughs> just kind of do it I guess yeah 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 do, do you do you have do you, is that something you're you're interested in doing at some point um doing all your book yeah and yeah like yeah you know what yeah i mean it's, yeah i mean you know i was getting ready to do a, to do a book and then the pandemic thing kind of like stifled a lot of stuff I and mean, really basically uh-huh. everything and uh had to put everything kind of on standby so i meant the future looks good and uh cool and yeah that can come out and i can sit there and tell a bunch of crazy freaking you got them and and you know it would be really inspiring man um you know for people who are still struggling um you know to to get their lives together and you know you could be that catalyst to to save somebody's life and that's a that's a powerful thing my friend uh no doubt. yeah i mean you know you really seriously gotta like you know step outside of yourself and be like, is this, you know, I mean, addiction is, it's a disease, you know, um, it's, it's, it's crazy. And, you know, I guess, you know, I never, I never slammed, I never like shot yeah. up, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm right. scared, like I'm scared crazy of like needles or anything going on in any part of my body, yeah. which is a good thing. And, um, Absolutely. but you know, it's hard to pull out of that for, uh, for people that are addicted and stuff. Um, yeah. Cause I've been going to AA and NA and CA for, you know, since I was 10 years old, you know, yeah. driving my dad, you know, to, uh, you know, to the AA hall. And, um, you know, I was just a little lad, you know, just experiencing and kind of experimenting, you know, at that point, but, nice. you know, I, I would drive him to AA and he got better and sober and awesome and, yeah. uh, you know, save the whole family. And, uh, you know, um, but it's it's a it's very very rough because you know, I I mean I didn't even know benzos or whatever and like you know I guess opiates which I I'm allergic to thank God, yeah. Um, but yeah I don't mess around with nothing like that. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah it's 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 challenging and it's very difficult because you know people like start like you know they start convulsing and they can they can basically die if they don't detox the right way. Right. Um, the beautiful thing about uh, rehabilitation, though, is um, when somebody comes in that's totally out of their freaking mind and they just look like they're about to just go down and die, but to see them come back to life is is uh, is a beautiful thing, and uh, it's uh, it's very it's a rarity too, uh, which is sad. But sometimes you can pull through there, um, dig deep dig deep you know you got to change you know you got to change you know your pattern you gotta Mm -hmm. you gotta step away from like things that are like you know very very bad for you you know yeah a lot of people in toxic situations and uh you know it's hard to get out of that for sure it Um, is hard man yeah gotta ask you about the five uh always wondered the five on your palm it's your superior superior high-fiving (laughs) <laughs> my, uh, my, it, my, my buddy uh christian stone that uh used to uh play with play with the puddle of mud uh wonderful guy i love him to death and yeah yeah we both got the fives <laughs> on our hands on on tour i wish he was still actually jamming with me um yeah so we both got the high five but this you're not supposed to actually tattoo that part of your hand because there's like these weird nerves in there okay so yeah, my arm went like numb. And I had to get it actually done five times. Really? 
holy shit yeah wow that's just way cool i've always wondered that man always seen it always wondered that's way cool it's just uh, for awesome high fighting <laughs> it is awesome high fighting yeah. that's cool that's it, man. i love it man uh you're coming out my way uh july 22nd and 23rd i'm gonna go see you man i can't wait to hang with you it's been great today uh man i am like i say there's so many guys that i'm not gonna get a chance to ever ever hang with ever talk to you're here man um we love you god bless you uh it's, it's so thankful you're here man and with us and uh keep doing what you do man we we love it uh man and i can't wait to see you yeah you know, rocking out man and uh with no mask or anything we're we're uh it's uh, it looks like we're doing pretty well this show's gonna go off you're on a big tour where can people find the tour dates um, I think it's puddle of mud TV. Okay. Com. Yeah. Right. yeah. I just, I, I just got the itinerary. I was like, what? <laughs> Do you like the tour? I, yeah, I love it. You know, okay. I, I, it's I rough. The it's fun. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's great. it can be grueling, man. It is. Yeah. The traveling is very, very difficult, but you know, you, just, you know, keep your head on straight and, uh, I love Zequil. I, I should be like the I should be like the promotional <laughs> person for uh, Zequil. <laughs> the miracle, miracle thing because I had insomnia for a long time. So uh, yeah, Zequil saved the day. It will uh, uh, it will put you to sleep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Hey, like I say, I'm excited to see you. Great to have you with us, man. Uh, I love you, brother. Uh, let, we'll uh, we'll catch up soon. Right on. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for your time, man. Take care. No problems. All right, man. See ya. Cheers.